Okay, so let's talk math, right? Computers can do math, and Java has a couple of different um, parts of the Java Standard Library that can help you with this, okay? So one of them that we've already talked about that I just wanna make sure that I mention here is that there is a uh, static class that's part of java.lang called math that has a bunch of static methods for doing things like exponentiation and, and uh, you know things like this. Now this you don't have to import because it's part of java.lang, it's already there. So all you have to do is call math.abs and it'll compute the absolute value. However, there's another part of the Java Standard Library. It's actually called java.math. And this is interesting because this gives us some tools for working with really, really, really big numbers. Um, and so, for example, let's look at big decimal. Um, so we've talked in the past about the limits of some of the built-in types in Java. So an int can only store numbers up to a certain size before it overflows, and that can cause lots of problems. A... Uh, long can store more numbers, but even it's limited at some point. And what if I want to doing some sort of scientific computation and I want to work with like huge numbers that are massive? Um, that's where the, the big decimal and the big, I think there's also a big, uh, big decimal and big integer uh, classes come into play. These allow us to um, store and work with massive numbers. Like a, it says basically um, uh, arbitrary precision integers. So even, you know, huge, huge, huge numbers that you might need in certain problem domains can be represented this way. Now, what's interesting about this is um, because of how Java works, um, there, you know, you essentially have to, uh, the, the, this instances of this class, which we'll mess around with in a second, define their own uh, mathematical operators that uh, act as methods. So for example, if I want to add two big integers together, I can't use the plus operator because they're not ints or longs or doubles or the things that Java knows how to apply the plus operator to. Instead, I have to create an instance of big integer and then call add to add the next one in. But we'll have a little bit of fun playing with this and kind of show you how you can use this to, to, to do math with really, really, really massive numbers.